Hey friends, Kim from stampingandperfection.com. Thanks for joining me today. I am very excited about this project that I created. Over the summer, I purchased this Simple Stories apron strings collection. And um, I did purchase it when I first saw it. And I regret that because I was unable to get the papers when I went ahead and bought it. But I'm gonna use that um, collection or the bits that I have to make some recipe albums for my kids. And I'm gonna use some of these little four by six photo albums. They're like, they hold like 48 um, four by six inch pictures and they're just plastic. You can get them in like CVS. I ordered them on Amazon and I ordered a whole bunch of different recipe cards on Amazon. And I was really surprised how inexpensive this stuff was like uh, at least one of those packages has 80 recipe cards so i got three different kinds of recipe cards so i would have a variety i'm only going to make two albums one for my daughter and one for my son but i do have enough um to make myself one too i don't have enough of the apron strings um ephemera so i may wait to see if another kitcheny album comes out now um one of the things that I'm going to do is like, I, I have this picture of the ingredients I use to make myself chocolate milk, which is um, something I haven't had in years because I'm allergic to dairy. I'm allergic to almonds. I'm allergic to soy, but I've discovered coconut milk and I'm not allergic to that. So um, I decided that I would like this to be one of those albums because everybody always seems to take pictures of their meals. So I thought the recipe card could go on one um, side and then on the other in the other pocket you could put a picture of the meal or a picture of you and friends enjoying the meal. So um, that's my idea for this and I think they'll like it. So it, this is this was pretty inexpensive to put together. I purchased some elastic thread. I've got some eyelets I'm going to use because I'm going to use the elastic, not thread, but um, elastic band, the thin elastic band. I'm going to use that to close it. I'm going to put some eyelets in there. So I had created, like, I think I did this in August when I discovered this collection. I put some, I put together a craft kit for myself. I put card stocks that coordinated with the, um, these are the sticker sheets from the apron strings. And um, then in my stash, I had this old paper from Stampin' Up. Like this is, gosh, at least seven years old. That's how long I've had it but I really like it. This is perfect for this project. I had some coordinating 12 by 12 papers. You know, I put some regular size cardstock. So I tried to get papers that matched. I ended up not using any of the cardstock. So that went right back into my stash for another project. And I realized the paper and the uh, stickers and ephemera don't perfectly match I'm okay with that the theme matches and there's enough yellow and red in both places that it works well enough for me now I also ended up getting I got one thing of the chipboard and you know I found these Echo Park cute holiday things like maybe I'll include the Christmas cookie the family Christmas cookie recipe. Um, I'm only going to put a few recipes in. I found this Prima set that has all fruit, all kinds of fruit. It's beautiful. So I put, put that in there and then I had some bits and pieces from random sets that were kitchen related. So I just put those in a little bag and stuck those in the kit. And I ended up, I also put this, I think this is um, what is this? Summer Farmhouse from Simple Stories, but it had lots of strawberries and fruit and like summery food. So I thought I could include this too. Maybe I'll use parts of that. Maybe I won't. What I don't use goes back into my stash. So I have two sets of the bits and pieces, two sets of the journal bits, two of the sticker sheets, and then one chipboard set. So I'm starting out here just making I cut all my papers down to four by six, except for the cover. The red polka dot is sort of a vintagey looking 
thing um, I used for to cover up. Um, pardon me there. I just wanted to adjust my camera to get you in range here. So I um, wanted to use that to for the cover. So I covered, I cut it to size. This was a little bit bigger than four by six. So I cut it to the size that that chipboard piece in the cover was and just covered up the um, covers. And I now have a nice sturdy cover. Now I'm just pulling out some of these bits. And you can see I've sort of sorted them into piles so that I have like what I consider to be like things together. And I quite like the um, those journaling bits because you can see behind all the stuff I've used one of the journaling pieces and this set was pretty nice because it had I definitely wanted the word recipe on the front or recipes on the front and it had several different choices for big title pieces that included the word recipe so I'm using this really pretty one with the flowers on the front cover for this one will be for my daughter I love this this stove image my grandmother had a stove just like that and it was red and it had the big white knobs white and black knobs like that stove would be like it would be worth a lot of money now it's so vintage but that's that was what she has but my daughter's favorite color is this uh, minty turquoise color so she is going to love the colors on the decorating bits in this set and um, it's going to match her dining room and kitchen nicely I might add so I'm just putting this together and I'm really liking the way this is coming out this is the fun part like doing this and I love this like you know I love tickets and tags if you've been watching any of my scrapbook layout um, videos I always have a ticket or a label or something that I like to tuck under I think this is so perfect for the cover so I'm gonna make one mistake here I just flip that over I should have flipped it not only to the back side but I should have flipped it 180 degrees so I'm gonna to have to fix this when I get all done with this cover but I'm just gonna put the inside of the cover together and I want to include a picture on this and then I'll include a recipe card on the facing page so I've printed out a few little pictures that I'm going to include I think I have two or three pictures I'm gonna include and I'm only gonna put a couple of recipes in um, but here again I'm using one of those journaling pieces to anchor the photo and um, like the journaling pieces are really nice to anchor the other bits when you're just trying to combine them and not even using a photo so I'm pulling out some things I really like like I love they have they have these little sentiment strips and this one says official taste tester so I'm just putting them together I love the the cutting boards I love the whole what's for dinner the recipe thing with the yum like this is a really fun collection so I'm just gonna cut down my pictures these are two of the pictures I'm gonna have one of my daughter and one of her boyfriend and um, they just moved into the house they bought um, a couple of days ago and they're currently painting in all the rooms and you know doing all the, the fun things um, so I think they're really gonna enjoy this they like to cook and here you can see Rick I'm not sure whether Rick is actually doing the cooking or he is the taste tester in this picture but I thought this was actually just a really fun start to the album so I I'm just now I, I figured out how I wanted to arrange it and now I'm just adding my adhesive and I'm using a combination of mostly um, some foam dots and my tape runner that is a temporary adhesive the, it's the Altenew, um they call it permanent adhesive but it is really temporary until um, you you know really push it down or leave it for a while so as I put this together I still have not thought about the fact that this isn't going to be oriented the way I want it to because um, and by the way this is the only page the front and back cover are the only pages where I decorated directly onto the actual paper 
on the other stuff, all of my decorations are on the plastic um, pocket so that, you know, they will be on the outside. So they can be moved around a little bit more easily. So I'm adding some chipboard pieces here too. And I love the combination of stickers, um, cardstock, ephemera, journaling things, and chipboard. It just gives you some nice dimension and it makes it more interesting, I think. So I do add some liquid adhesive to the back of the chipboard pieces just because um, it, those don't stick very well. I am adding the date. I know this picture was sometime in 2020, so I'll just add the 2020. And here's where I discover that I've made a mistake. As I put this in, that photo is going to be upside down. And I realize, oh shoot, I've got to fix that. But I do it quick enough that most of the adhesive is not really like stuck down forever. The, except for the liquid glue is going to actually tear the paper a little. Not to worry, I've got a couple extra pieces already cut. So I can just peel everything else up. And I'm just going to take another piece of this paper that I already have cut. And I'm just going to go glue it right on top. So crisis averted. You know, it's good to have a stash of paper that you can you know you have extra of so that's a nice thing so I'll just put this back together and then it will be oriented correctly and luckily it goes back pretty quickly because most of the pieces are stuck together to each other so it was like I just had to basically put a couple pieces back in so now when I put this back in so learn from my mistake you've got to flip that upside down basically. Now the photo is oriented in the correct way and um, that is an Instapot they're using. They've been experimenting over the last few months with lots of Instapot recipes since they've been stuck in the house and um, apparently they found a chili they like quite well and that recipe card will be perfect for their chili recipe. So I'm just going to go through the album and put my recipe cards in and I'm going to put some over the, the food and some over the B side of the paper, which is like the check pattern and, um, you know, like that. But I'm going to alternate. So you'll see all of the food things and all of the different patterns. Now they can take that paper out if they want to, if they just want to use this for recipes or... Um, flip it over if they don't like the side that I have. And you'll notice that as I put on the stickers and the ephemera, I'm trying to keep them either just to the left side or just to the right side on each different layout or just to the top or just to the bottom so that um, they could easily put a two by three inch picture on any of these. They could put a four by six picture in there too if they wanted to. So, and again, all of this decoration is done on the outside of the pocket. So I'm just going to finish this. Now I've got it all done. And this really is, look how thick this is now with all the good stuff in it. So like, it's just super fun. And this is all I have left over from those two packs. The ephemera, no, it was bits and pieces in the journaling bits. I didn't use the other set from Prima. So um, that's good because I used quite a few of the uh, chipboard pieces here. So when I make my son's album, I'll have the other collections to pull from. So they can easily get those recipe cards out and write on the back of them. And I just think this is really fun. I think it's fun to have a picture of the food with the recipe that you're making. And, you know, everybody's taking pictures of their food now when they go out so and here's a picture of my daughter she's actually in a restaurant so she can put whatever recipe she wants on there and um, you can see I just put a few decorative pieces on each page and it's you know just kept it simple so that it if you know it's not going to block a picture or whatever and those are should be fairly easy to remove also um, but that was a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun to create. So um, 
I hope they enjoy this. Now the one thing that I have left to do is I want to add those elastic bands. I want to put eyelets in and then add that elastic um, that elastic that I have. Now at the end I did put a couple of nice pictures. I put a picture of the four of us having a meal together and um, I also put a picture of the kids on the porch of their very own house and um, so I thought that was kind of a fun little addition for the end. Always nice to have pictures of your house. Now I am going to tuck these extra bits in. I did not label, use the like desserts and those fantastic sticker labels, I'll let them put those in. I don't know which one of them will use this. Hopefully they'll both use it. Um, but they can decide how they want to organize things in there. You know, so this has two signatures. It has two sets of these photo things. So I'm going to put an eyelet on each side. I don't have my super big... Um, crop a dial so I can only this is only going to go in an inch so I'll put one on each end of the album and since there are two of those signature things those sets of photo things I'll put one in each set so I've opened to the middle of the first set of photo things now I'm going to use this wrong because um, I don't know why I don't know why I use this wrong. I use this quite a bit. I love adding eyelets and I've got a huge stash of eyelets, but instead of using the punch, I use the eyelet setter to punch the hole. And um, then I put the, you want the nice looking side on the outside of your project. And then you're gonna use the eyelet setter to, and I'm being very klutzy because of course my hole was not made with the punch so uh, you know you want to put the you want to put the eyelet thing you want to put that piece that sticks out inside the eyelet on the outside of the project and then it will crimp the other side so the crimped side will be on the inside of the album and it looks really nice like it looks professionally done when you do this even though I used it wrong it worked out okay. So I'm just going to take this twine, this not twine, but elastic cord. And um, this was just a few dollars. And I'm going to just tie a knot on the inside of the album. And I'm just playing with this because I haven't quite decided how I want to do this yet. So I'm trying to decide, do I want to do just one piece? Or do I want to do two pieces, one on each end? And it, eventually I settle on one on each end. I like the idea because, you know, I tend to print a lot of recipes out. If I find a recipe I like online and I make it and I like it, I will print it out. So they could stuff printed out um, recipes in here or sometimes you rip it out of a magazine, you know, and you could stuff that in there too. So having this elastic band is pretty nice. It'll hold all the bits and pieces. Like you could even put your coupons in there or, you know, have your shopping list started in your little album. So to do this, I'm actually going to stuff that other end back into the hole. I don't know why I'm making it so complicated for myself here. I figured out eventually. So I'm just going to stuff that in. I'm going to T knot these two pieces together and um, trim it off a little bit and if it needs to be tightened I can always make another knot a little farther up the cord and trim off some more so you know like you just want to pull the loop through the other end and then test it out to make sure that it's where you want it I do want to have a little slack there like I said in case they want to stuff some recipes in so you know that works perfectly so I'm going to just put the second hole in and I'm going to do it on the other side and in the second thing now I'm going to use the crocodile correctly so I'm going to punch a hole with a hole puncher which is on the side and it only goes in one inch so sorry I'll figure it out it only goes in one inch, which is nice. And you can set it to go less than an inch, 
but an inch is the farthest that it goes. So I'm going to just slide that in, punch the hole. This is how it's supposed to work. Look at that beautiful hole. This is a really great device. Then you put the eyelet in with the nice side on the outside of your project. Then you use the end, the eyelet setter, and just crimp that shut. I'm going to add the um, elastic just like I did. This time I know I just need to put both of those cut ends into the hole and tie a knot. And I'll use that as a um, as a guide to how much. I usually cut too much and then trim it off. So that will complete this cute little album. And this was so much fun to make. I have one more to make for my son with the other pieces that I have. And you can see the finished product here. And uh, not very expensive. Lots of fun to make. So stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you're here. Thank you so much for watching.